Hello there everyone, it's Lydia here with you and I'm so excited to be guesting for W Plus 9 again. So I'm going to be showing you this card, stretching the use of your holiday floral stamps to make some spring or even some summertime cards. Just changing up the colours really changes up these images and so you can use them the whole year through. I'm going to be using the Be Merry floral stamp set and die set. I haven't snipped my dies apart because I find it easier just to cut a load of these little intricate dies in one time. So I've cut these out twice and took the images that I wanted to use out and discarded the rest. I'm using the rock and roll technique to ink up my images. So I'm inking in the lighter image, then rolling my stamp around the edges with the darker ink. I'm then going to take an even darker purple for this flower here and I'm going to ink that up and use that for the details and a black ink for the center of the flowers. I'm then going to take the leaf image, I'm going to ink it up again as I did before, so in the lighter green, go around with the darker green around the edges, so the rock and roll is this bit here, and then I'm going to take an even darker green to add in at these stems to these leaf clusters. So I'm going to do that one and then I'm going to do that again here. So as I had the greens out I decided to do the other um, leaves as well. So this is the smaller three cluster of leaves and I'm doing the same thing. So inking in the lighter green, rolling around the edges in the medium green to get that depth and dimension in one stamp. It's so easy and it does add a lot of detail and depth to the images I find. So I'm going to add in the stems with the darker green. I'm then going to move on to the little um, three flower clusters. This time in pink. So I have a lighter pink and a darker pink around the edges of the petals. And then stamping the stem in with the medium green. This time I'm stamping the stem first and then adding in the flowers. I did this because I already had the green out. <laughs> So, you know, you can do it either way, whichever way you find easier for you. And then I'm going to take the small flower, and a uh, single flower, should I say, and I'm going to ink this in the pink again, dark pink around the edges. I'm then going to take an even dark pink to add the detail to these small flowers. I'm then going to take the Happy Trio die, and I'm taking one of the dies from the set, and I'm going to cut this out twice. The first time I'm cutting it out is just out of some plain black cardstock. And I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine to cut out the image. I should word, should I say. And then I'm, you may need a little pin or something just to remove this from the die. But it cuts perfectly. I'm then going to cut this again out of some black funky foam. If you don't have any funky foam, you could, if you wanted to, cut this out uh, a number of times just out of the black cardstock and then layer them all together. As this foam has a bit of dimension already, I find that I only need to add one of these under the black cardstock to create the depth and dimension that I want in my card. So I'm going to stick these together. I'm adding some strong adhesive to the top of the foam one that I cut out and then I'll be adding the card um, cut out on top. You may also want to add an acrylic block to the top of these once they have been stuck together because this will make them dry nice and flat and there won't be any um, lifting up from the foam piece. As I've used wet glue you can move this round a bit just to get the places in perfect. I'm then going to add a bit of removable adhesive behind my word. I'm doing this so I can move it around on my card, lift it up to add things behind it. I'm using the whole lot of happy stamp set then and I'm taking one of the sentiments. I don't want the whole of this sentiment, I just want that you make me. So I'm masking out the other bit of the sentiment with some washi tape and then inking this up. You're then going to want to remove that washi tape because this will um, stamp down onto your project and create a little bit of a mess. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I've done that before. So then um, I'm going to add the pieces in that I've stamped, so the die cut pieces. I'm adding a little bit of glue to these, just a tiny bot, a spot will keep them in place. This also means that you'll be able to lift the edges up to poke any of the other things in behind. As you can see, I'm working one side to the other, so I'm placing the same image down one side as I am the other. This helps me create a lot of balance in the flower clusters, and I find that this works well for me, so you may want to give this a try if you don't find that your balance is 
um, up to scratch in your flower clusters. So I'm just going to place these all in. As you can see, I can lift the other petals up because I've only added glue to the middle. So this bit was a little bit larger than I wanted it to be. So I've just snipped a bit of it off so I can add it in where I wanted. It would have hung over the card too far. So a little bit of snipping does help out. I'm just going to add these two last little pieces in and then I'm going to do a little bit more stamping. I'm going to be taking the two flowers, the two little flowers that we've used for the stem, and I'm just going to ink up one of them. I'm inking up the five petal one and I'm leaving the four petal one alone, wiping a little bit of ink off the four petal one if you do have a little bit of ink on there, and then stamping these into place. I love the just how this works out because you can just add things in and add a bit more detail rather than having to die cut everything out and then I'm going to add some more leaves in. I find this makes my clusters look a bit more bushy and I like the look, the organic look that this does give. As you can see I'm just going to add these in, moving the happy out the way if I need to because I'm at the end of my flower clusters now so I'm not really that um, bothered if it's there or not anymore. I'm going to add a little couple of black splatters. This is some black watercolour and I've just made it a little bit more watery than you would usual and then tap the paintbrush to create the splatter effect on the flower clusters. Then I'm going to add the happy back into place, this time with some really strong adhesive and I'm just going to pop that down. Because I have used foam it means that it's going to sit properly and then I'm going to add a block on top just to make it dry. And here is the card finished. I've just added some foam adhesive to the card layer to lay it down onto my card base and a couple of sparkling clear sequins. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you a couple of ideas how to stretch those festive floral stamps. Goodbye for now and I hope you have a beautiful day.